Good morning, guys. <clears throat> Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Rachel. If you're new, I'm so glad that you're here. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Yes, I'm going to work today. It's Thursday, and I start at 10 today, but... I have a dentist appointment at 9, which is exciting. I straightened my hair this morning. I'm wearing my figs, my sneakers. I have my Stanley cup. I'm bringing my laptop today. This is my second day back at work after my friend Jenna left. So she left on Tuesday night and then today's Thursday. So I worked all day yesterday. I just didn't film anything. If you saw my last video, you know that something is changing career-wise. However, um, one of the MAs called out today. So I am most likely going to be there all day and just bear with me these next few days or weeks because it's going to be it's not going to be like a quick transition into my new position it's going to be like over the next few weeks i'll probably work like four days and then go down to three and then so on and so forth just until i'm 100 confident that the front desk team can handle the entire operation if that makes sense so i just wanted to clear that up because i know it can be a little bit confusing with like what i'm doing and my schedule so yeah just bear with me but as of today like for today let's just take it one day at a time today i'm going to be mostly in reception okay i just got out of the dentist's office i got a quote for my wisdom teeth removal he said that i should get all four removed you guys know how i feel about that but if I'm gonna get two of them removed, I might as well get all four. So originally I was gonna do just the bottom because those are the ones that irritate me. They're like halfway out. And then the top ones are basically fully out. So those are gonna be cheaper. Let me tell you guys how much it is because I feel like the more knowledge that we all have, the better. So for the ones that are fully out, he's charging $3.95 per tooth. So I have two teeth at $3.95 each. And then the ones that are partially out are $5.20. So $5.20 each. He doesn't take my dental insurance. So that's like cash price. If you have insurance, it'll probably be less. I think I'm honestly gonna cancel my dental and vision insurance. It's like $36 a month. And yeah, it's just not worth it because i'm coming to this oral surgeon who doesn't take my insurance anyway i'm gonna cancel my insurance and then you guys know i want to go to that holistic dentist after i get them removed to like talk about vitamins and mouthwashes and like things that i can holistically do to like get stronger teeth and they don't take my insurance anyway so I we're done. We're done with the dental insurance. It's just not, it's not the same necessity as health insurance in my eyes. It depends again on like if you have bad teeth and you probably need it. And then I also need to look up my health insurance, but I'll probably do that tomorrow because uh, with me leaving my dad's company, it's like this whole thing with the health insurance. So I need to figure that out and I'll take you guys along for that journey. About to go to work. I'm trying to drink more water. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm halfway to work and I just forgot to tell you I have no cavities. No cavities. Amazing. If you've been watching for a while, you may know I struggle with cavities. Last time I went to the dentist, which was probably honestly like a year ago at this point, I had three cavities. So we're doing good. We're on track. I'm so happy. And yeah, I just thought I would share. Hi guys, I'm home from work. It's 4.30, so I was able to get off a little early, but I'm really excited because my new Gymshark biker shorts just came in. And originally, okay, I got these in a small and the band right here on the thigh, like right here was way too thick. So then I exchanged it for a medium, same problem. So now I'm in a large and it fits perfectly i'm so obsessed it's like the perfect amount of loose if you're getting these make sure you size up one or two sizes i will link them down below i love them because they're like this camo they're just so flattering i'm obsessed thank you jenna she sent me a gift card for my birthday a while back and i finally found the right size and i'm so happy Whew, i'm out of breath I'm trying to decide if I'm going to work out right now or just edit my podcast. Um, it's a tough decision. <laughs> Yesterday, I actually went on the spin bike. I, I did a 30-minute spin class, which was 10 minutes more than I've ever done because I usually do the 20-minute classes because I'm lazy. Oh my gosh, I also ordered a Lululemon matching set, my first matching set ever, and that should be coming in pretty soon, so I'm so excited to see that. 
And I also ordered some from Amazon. Okay, anyways. Okay, y'all, I just got another package from Maritzia. What a good day. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I just got these little comfy gray heathered shorts, 20% off. So this is what they look like. They're just like basic shorts, but they're so high-waisted and I think they're really flattering. And they're also really long, which I like. I just felt like I needed an upgrade because you guys know the ones that I wear all the time are like really dingy by this point. So this one is just like a little bit more, a little bit more high end. We are gonna make some bang bang shrimp tonight. I just put the rice in and AJ's gonna tackle the bang bang. I just get the raw deveined shrimp from Walmart. Ooh, it kinda looks like they have freezer burn, but it's fine. So just for comparison, these are the Aritzia ones, the new ones, and then these are the old ones. They're like much more, I don't know, just casual. There's no like hemming. Well, actually, this one has no hemming either, but this one just looks much more elevated. Maybe because it's brand new and also it's Aritzia, but these are also great. They're just like more like sleeping around the house, and this will be like, I don't know how to describe it, guys. You know what I'm trying to say. This is from Airy, size small. This is called the Boyfriend Cozy fleece i got it in a small as well look who it is look who it is okay i want to show you the dessert that i made dinner came out really good but i wanted to show you the dessert that i've been into so i've been really into rice cakes with peanut butter lately and tonight i put a dark chocolate square sprinkled on top and it's so freaking good you guys if i had fresh strawberries i would put strawberries on here i did that the other day and it was so good so if you're looking for a quick easy healthy ish dessert this really hits the spot and it's really filling so we're gonna watch ozark i've been obsessed with it we just finished season three it was honestly the best season i think and we're about to start season four and that's our plan for the night hi guys well my hair is looking crazy it is 12 p.m. I worked this morning, but I was able to leave early. We actually had an, another interview this morning, so that's why I went in today, and I still need to figure out my schedule. I think I'm gonna like try to plan that out this weekend and like try to develop my new schedule and my new like strategy for my mom's because she wants me to do like marketing and like business development. So we need to tackle that together at some point. Whoa, whoa but I've been taking this class on Skillshare that I think you guys would be really interested in and Skillshare is partnering with me in today's video. It's a company that I've always wanted to work with and I'm so grateful because I just took this iPhone photography class. It's called How to Take Pro Photos on Your iPhone. The class is by Dale McManus and he's a YouTuber. He's actually like really famous and it's so cool that I have access to his class. So this class is all about how to take photos on your iPhone. I don't have a camera that I take professional photos with and he talked about something called the rule of thirds which basically means when you're taking a photo you don't want yourself or whoever you're taking the photo of to be in the center of the picture you want them to be either to the left or to the right so for example at this picture I could have easily posted this with me in the center but now that I know about the rule of thirds I edited it in such a way where I was on the left side of the photo and it just makes the photo look so much more professional so I learned so much from this course you guys I highly recommend it they also have courses on how to be a youtuber and guys there's so much information that i think honestly the best way is to take a course on skillshare so if you don't know what skillshare is it's an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills you can invest in yourself and your personal growth and their platform is now available in french spanish portuguese and german members can access the entire library of classes Classes with subtitles and Skillshare is also launching new classes spoken in French, Spanish, Portuguese, and German so you can enjoy Skillshare in the language of your choice. Skillshare is also completely ad-free so you won't be interrupted and you can focus on building your new skills and they launch new classes every week so there's always something new to discover. So the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Guys, a whole entire month is crazy. You can take so many classes and the best part is it's absolutely free it's a free trial no commitments you can cancel anytime so make sure you guys check them out first a thousand people get an entire month free trial you don't want to miss out 
Okay, I'm just eating a little bit of yogurt with granola because AJ and I are gonna go to the gym in a little bit, but I wanted to show you the two photos that I took with my new Polaroid. So this one was in the house during the day with Flash, and then this one was at the beach, obviously without Flash, and I don't know, is this how they're supposed to look? <laughs> Let me know. I feel like this one is way too overexposed. I'm not sure how to change that. This one is a little bit concerning. It's like really orange, and like it looks like it has a filter on it. I just don't know if this is normal. Right. It's not right? No. <laughs> I don't know. There's like no settings on this thing. It might be the film, like the actual film that I got. Oh, hello. This is the film I got. It's the eye type film color eye type. So I don't know, maybe I'll try a different one and I'll also try to Google it. But if any of you know why it's looking like that, please let me know in the comments. Okay, that's why I'm taking that Skillshare class and I'll probably take a class on like film photography because I really wanna get more into photography in general and not just videos. It's all in the freezer. Oh, no, that's done. It was in the bag with the cheese. When Jenna was here, I told her I wanted to get my second hole repierced because it had closed. So we go to Piercing Pagoda and we're waiting in line because there's someone ahead of us getting their ears pierced. So while we're waiting in line, we're waiting for like 15 minutes and I'm so dumb. I start like playing with my ear and I take the earring in my first hole and I try to like fit it through the second hole and it goes through. <laughs> It went through both ears and I'm like, why am I so dumb? So I didn't have to get my ears re-pierced. I just need earrings. Can you imagine if I got my ears pierced again and I didn't have to? Like that would be so unnecessarily painful. Okay, I'm back from the gym. We did shoulders today. And I have a little to-do list for the afternoon. I need to call the city because somebody stole our trash can or the city took it. Maybe it was like damaged or something, so they just took it or somebody stole it. But I don't think anybody would steal a trash can. So I need to call the city and like request a new one. And then I just paid two medical bills for AJ and I's pathology. I had a mole removed. Let me show you how that's doing, by the way. It's doing pretty good. I just have like a little brownish scar, but it's healing really well. So when my mom removed it, she sent it to the lab to test it for like any cancer or anything like that. So I have a bill from the lab. So I just paid that. So I'm glad that that's done because I've been putting that off for a while. <laughs> and then I need to figure out what I'm doing with my health insurance. So since I'm no longer working for my dad's company, I need to either go on COBRA, which is a program where you can still stay on your employer's health plan, but you have to pay full price of it. So instead of like getting the discount that your employer offers. So I have the option to do that or I can go to the marketplace and find my own insurance plan. Just like a whole stressful thing. So I don't know, I need to think about that. And then like I said earlier, I need to make a plan for next week at work. Okay, I just found the number for the garbage service. Ooh, I'm scared. I feel like they're gonna be mad. All dangerous for existing other customers. <laughs> Next available associate will be happy to assist you. Hi, I was just calling to see if I can get a new trash bin because ours went missing. Okay, what's the number? Okay, thank you. Called the wrong number. Hi, I was just calling to request a new trash bin because ours went missing. Oh, so an officer has to come out? Yeah, they can just call. Okay, so I just wait for the call. She just hung up on me. They need to send a police officer out or a police officer will call us and give us a case number. Oh, somebody's calling me. Hello? Yes, that's me. I just got off the phone with the non-emergency number. Okay, I'm ready. That was fast. Yeah, the police department. They gave me a case number and now I need to call the garbage company. Okay. Thank you for calling. Woohoo, okay, so I just called the actual garbage company with the police case number and they said that we should get a new trash bin within two days to two and a half weeks at no charge because they said it was a stolen can so that's really good news i'm really happy but now i'm really sad because i just saw this room and i forgot that jenna's no longer here <laughs> she folded up her sheets when she left she stripped her bed and she folded up her sheets and her towels like that is a good guest i'm too sad to clean up the room though so i'm gonna leave it Okay, I just 
made this smoothie and it's so good. Like it tastes like an actual carrot cake muffin with the icing. I don't know how they did that. It's the carrot and cinnamon one and it's so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'll put my discount code on the screen for Daily Harvest. You have to try them. They're smoothies. Ugh. Whenever you're just like in the middle of the day and you're so hungry and you're starving, but you don't have any food, and you don't want to like order something because that'll take an hour. Just make one of these smoothies, add some protein in. I'm about to bowl some laundry. It's 4.30. I just finished editing some stuff. I'm gonna finish out the day with a quick tidy, some laundry. Um, already worked out, so that's amazing. I love that. And then I'll have to figure out what we're doing for dinner. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday. It's actually Father's Day, and I'm just gonna continue this vlog, so I hope that's okay with you. But AJ and I are about to go to lunch with his family because it's Father's Day. And then tonight we're going to see my dad, but I got my Lululemon set in, so I'm so excited. Let me show you. So these are the six inch biker shorts. I got them in a size six. Let me turn this light on. I don't know if that helped, but I am obsessed. It's navy blue and I got the matching bra, but first let me show you this shirt. So this shirt is the back in action short sleeve and it's this orangey pink color. I got it in a size six, but I'm thinking maybe I should get an eight. What do you guys think? Is this like not oversized enough? It doesn't really cover my butt fully. So let me know if this is a good like oversized look or if I should go bigger. This is the energy bra and I got a size eight. I'm a size eight in their tops when it comes to the bras because I have like pretty wide shoulders and it's also the navy blue color. Look how stunning the back is. I am obsessed. My furch, my furch, <laughs> my first matching set is blowing me away. I'm so, so, so happy. The only thing is, can you see this little indentation? I swear that's not my nipple. That's like the crease in the pad. So that's like the only thing, but I wonder if I like wet the pads and like let them dry if they'll straighten out. And I did recently buy a bunch of clothes from Aritzia. I promised you guys that I would do the haul in this video. I actually made an Instagram reel showing all of the clothes that I got. I'll insert it right here. So feel free to watch that. And I will link each item down below in this video so that you can click on them and see which items I did buy. I'm so happy with everything that I got from Aritzia. It was my first time last week when I went with Jenna and I understand the hype. Like it's so worth it. So, and yes, I know what you're thinking. Rachel, you're, you've been spending a lot of money, girl. And you're right. I'm going on a spending freeze starting now. <laughs> I don't know. I just have like spurts of energy when it comes to buying clothes. Like I'll buy like a bunch of clothes one week and then I won't buy clothes for like two months. So yeah, let's do a spending freeze together. Let's challenge ourselves. No spend week starting today. Whatever day it is for you, if it's Wednesday, don't spend any money until next Wednesday. And by not spending money, I mean like don't go online shopping or like don't go to Target and buy stuff. But if you need to like pick up Chipotle for dinner, that doesn't count. That doesn't count, doesn't count. All right, this is what I'm gonna, oh my gosh, she's throwing up. Okay, I just cleaned up her throw up. I caught it right in time because if I leave it sitting on the marble, it'll like take the, the shine or the polish off the marble. So this is what I'm gonna wear to lunch. It's pretty casual. I'm gonna button it right here. It'll be like a cute little summery look. We're just going to a Mexican restaurant. First thing he does when he gets home is always Vinny. Oh, you know where she slept there instead of yours? Mm. She was sleeping right here? Yep. Oh, that's so unlike you. Well, she didn't have a place to sleep. You want some coffee? Wow, Vinny, you have such a good dad. You have such a good dad. Last time he'll be on the vlog for a while. Yep. She's leaving, guys. She is leaving. Make sure to listen to the podcast if you want to find out where she's going. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Chelsea, say hi to the vlog. Hi, vlog. You never talk to the vlog. Do you not like them? I'm not ready to make my debut. This <laughs> is my sister-in-law. Chelsea. <laughs> We're just watching them play volleyball. I mean, pickleball. With my parents. My brother, he's super competitive, can't you tell? And AJ. What day is it today? Sunday. No, it's Father's Day. Oh, I already told him that. Oh. What'd you do for your dad today? He's in North Carolina. Yes. Oh, sweet. Off the hook. 
we got him a bike. <laughs> what kind of bike? I don't know, it's a Metro spec something. <clears throat> it's a vintage green bike. Like Look at him getting mad. Look at him getting mad. They're so competitive. What's it like being in the family, Charles? Oh my gosh, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> would you ever be on my podcast? If it's a topic, I can... What topic would you want to do? Well, Anna's gone for like six weeks, so I need she help. <laughs> what topic do you want to do? If it's pop. Like, pop culture? Yeah, pop culture. Like what? I can't talk about office things because I've... Like Bieber and Haley? Yeah. You're obsessed with them. It's like the base. Good morning guys, happy Monday. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because I'm starting a work week in my life. So <clears throat> make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram. And also I put out a podcast every single Saturday. And if you don't know, I post on YouTube every Monday and Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern time in case you were wondering what my schedule is. It's Mondays and Thursdays. Don't forget to check out Skillshare and learn something new, something exciting, and I will see you guys in my next video.